Hey, what's up everyone? This is Franchise923. I haven't posted any videos in a while, but I sort of just got the idea and the motivation this morning to create a new tutorial series. So I thought, what better than Python? Python's my favorite programming language by far. It's how I initially learned how to program, or how, how programming finally clicked for me was when I tried Python. I had tried Java in the past and C++ when I was like in middle school. And it was just a nightmare, just even getting the compiler installed. Uh, but with Python, everything was simple, and I got up to speed much quicker, and everything made sense, and I was having fun. So I know there's already a bunch of tutorial series out there, especially on beginner Python, but I just thought it couldn't hurt to hear it from somebody else. So I'm just going to put these tutorials out there, and hopefully they help some people out. Uh, my goal with this series is going to be to try to not explain every little nitty-gritty detail of Python, but to get you guys up to speed as fast as possible, creating useful things quickly. Um, so the first like eight or so tutorials, I think, are going to be just simple, basic stuff, and then we're quickly going to use those just the skills we learned to build little um, scripts on our desktop that do useful things like copy files to certain directories and rename files, uh, stuff like that. Get input from user. So um, if you're interested in that, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so I'm on the Python home page. You can get here by just Googling Python. And uh, it takes you right there. And we need to download Python. So our computer right now doesn't know what Python is. It doesn't have it installed by default. I'm on a Windows. Um, if you're on Linux, that's a different case. That comes with um, Python, but uh, Windows doesn't. So actually, I have to download Python. So we even have the environment or, or have the programming language. So just click that download right there and it starts this download here. And we can just click it and we're going to install it. So here we have a few options. Um, it's just asking where you want to install it. So I'm going to use this default location here. You could change it here but I recommend leaving it default. And then we're also going to add Python 3.6 to path. And I'll show you what that does in a sec. So let's just hit install now. And that path that I was talking about, so if we go to our command line, just type in cmd down here, and open that up. If we were to type Python, it doesn't know what it is right now. Even, it's not installed, so it wouldn't know it anyway, but pretend this was installed, and we had that path unchecked, it still wouldn't know what Python is. So what your shell here does, it looks at the environment variables, and you can get there by typing env. And if we look at our environment variables that are in the path, if we edit these, this is basically the environment for your shell. So any commands that are related to any of these programs, basically, like Node.js, um, the shell knows what that means. So I'll give you an example. If we type in npm here, Node Package Manager, this shell knows what that is because it's part of the path. Um, so when we add Python to the path, we'll be able to type Python, and it'll, it'll look at that and say, oh, I know what Python is. This command makes sense. Uh, but let's close that for now. Setup was successful. All right, cool. So now we have Python. So before I install anything else, I'm just going to show you what comes with Python. So if we type in Python here, we see we have a few options. We have Python 3.6, so let's just click that see what that is. Python and idle. These are the two things that are useful. So we have this, they they look very similar. This is, they're basically, these are both shells, meaning we can run Python in it. So just to print something out in Python, you just type print and then parentheses, parentheses and inside just say like a number. So print four. So that works there. And we can also do it here. Print three. You'll notice this has a little bit of syntax highlighting, so it turned purple here because print is a, a special word in Python. Um, so you'll notice once we hit enter, it executes whatever the code is, so that's not very useful for trying to make a program. So we need to sort of use um, like a notepad type feature. We have to build our script that way. So if we go file, new file in this environment here, we get this. So we're going to close this. This is just a shell, and this is also a shell, but this is uh, a little bit separate, but we're not going to worry about that right now. 
So now we have sort of a notepad area where we can actually type our script. So we can say print 4, print 3, and see when I hit enter, it didn't execute it yet. So print 5, 4, and now to run it, we basically save it here and run it from here, and it's going to run in this shell. So this is your console where the output comes from your script. So let's just uh, save this on the desktop and call it um, python test.py. All right. And you'll notice the script here is right there. So now we can say run, run module, and it runs it over here. So this is how you would have to do it if you weren't using any other sort of advanced text editor or IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment, but this is sort of ugly and archaic and hard to really get any traction with just because it's so basic and limited in its functionality. So this is kind of, this is just a test to make sure Python even works. Um, there are some people that code in this, but we're going to download something called PyCharm. It's totally free and it's awesome, so um, we'll get that in a sec. So let me close this. And let me show you one other thing before we get PyCharm. We can go back to the command prompt, which is different than that Python shell I showed you. Now when we type Python, it knows what it is, and it opens a shell inside the command prompt. Um, so if we take a look at the environment variables again, we'll notice something got added. For some reason, I think it's adding it to the user, not the uh, system. So if we go to user path, we should see, uh, yeah, these, these guys just got added here. Um, so one other thing I'll show you. Another way to run your script, we can say Python space and then just drag in your script. Just like that and hit enter. And there you go. Um, so that's that. I'm going to stop the video here and then in the next video we're going to download PyCharm and just take a look at some basic uh, just basic things you can do in Python. Uh, so I'll see you then.